Good afternoon, everyone. Um, as a company, just a, a high-level high summary, we're based in Rotterdam and we work indeed in digital optimization of district heating as well as industrial steam systems. Uh, we were founded in 2019 and raised our Series A last summer uh, together with Eneco as one of the uh, investors. I highly recommend working together with Robert Blom. Um, and we're expected to raise a Series B uh, next year and I would love to talk to some of you on scenarios and how we would uh, structure that. So we're going to talk about heating. And heating is really the dominant energy form. It's actually larger than electricity and transport combined. And we feel that innovation and digitization is just lagging behind there. Um, and if you zoom in on heating of buildings, yeah, so the right top parts, of course, the majority of buildings currently get their heating from individual gas boilers. And yes, you can replace them by heat pumps, but there's a lot of challenges there, which I'm sure you're aware of. And the alternative is to go to collective solutions, yeah, so to district heating. And the key thing is that you uh, can, with that, unlock sustainable heat sources such as geothermal or waste heat. And there's a massive growth ambition in Europe to increase this times five and to almost get half of the Europeans connected to district heating. Uh, but these heating networks, of course, need to be sustainable. And that means they need to transform from what you see on the left, uh, high temperature networks fueled by coal or gas CHPs, uh, to networks that look what you see on the right, which is a more decentralized setup where you have large heat pumps, you have geothermal, maybe you have large buffers. And the main thing is that it creates a lot of complexity. Uh, so complexity to design and also to operate these systems. And, of course, you would expect there's digital solutions available to manage this complexity. But the main challenge that these digital solutions have today is partial optimization. And what I mean with that is they only focus on, for example, the CHP, or they focus on uh, the, the, the hydraulics, or they are smart meter applications. But really integrating the supply and the demand into one overview is not something they do. That's exactly the thing we've solved. So we've developed a digital twin, 100% focused on heating systems. We cover sources, hydraulics, users in one system, and that helps us to enable real-time operational optimization, uh, as well as design and simulation of new systems. Uh, the core is really next to the data that we get from all sorts of systems, is real-time physical models that we run at the back of this, uh, which is quite advanced and, uh, yeah, I think very, very impactful. So in terms of impact, we, for example, help companies almost double their profitability uh, by helping them making real-time decisions on which heat source to switch on when. Uh, and on the right, you can see some companies that we work for. So in the Netherlands, we pretty much work for all district heating companies, and we're now growing fast in Germany, Scandinavia, uh, uh, Poland. And the next thing I'd like to talk about is industrial heating. What I mentioned in the beginning is industrial steam networks is also something we do. Um, I'm going to ignore this slide for now, but the main thing to, to note is that within the heating space of industry, a large part actually comes from steam networks. So on the left you see that between 40 and 80% in these types of industries of the energy they use actually comes from industrial steam networks. This is massive. And McKinsey estimates that between 25 to 30% of the total industrial decarbonization, particularly here in Germany, should come from changing and optimizing these steam systems. And so this is unbelievably large and also underserved, and that's right what we focus on. Um, I'm happy to announce that we just started working for two top 10 global players in terms of chemicals and refineries in Rotterdam to help them exactly with this, uh, with this challenge. Um, the last thing I would like to share with you is a bit of a vision of, in this case, Rotterdam, of what cities are going to look like. So you see different elements in the energy ecosystem. You see one of the largest industrial parks in, uh, in Europe, the city, of course, power plants, there will be hydrogen production. And the thing that starts connecting these things is a grid. And we talk a lot about grids. But the main thing is this is not an electricity grid, this is a heating grid. These are different heating grids together that are operational today. The quantity of heat that they transport is 20 terawatt hours per year. That's about two, uh, two thirds of the total electricity 
consumption in Denmark. And this is one city, and there's many more of them. And we're very proud to say that we're working for all players here. We work for Eneco, Uniper, two of the big industry players, and finally the massive uh, uh, backbone heating line that is, uh, that is being built there. Um, so, yeah, I would love to, to see after this session if we can work together to build and optimize more of these grids in Europe. Thank you very much.